everyone, welcome back to CCTV. I hope you had a great week and are ready for the weekend. As one part of Lent is almsgiving or service, this is a reminder to donate to our Lent drive. Maybe give up that $5 coffee order and instead make a donation. Now here's Luis for a recap on our prayer service for the victims of the Florida shooting. So Ryan, what was the purpose of the prayer service? Well, the purpose of the prayer service is really an act of unity, an act of prayer, given that it is a prayer service. But our goal with the prayer service is to kind of pull for action, to make sure that we're doing stuff going forward, we're learning from each other, we're listening to each other. Because if we let ourselves be divided as a school, as a people, as a country, we let him win. We let the shooters win. We let the terrorists win. So by listening to each other and by being a united people, we win. So Ryan, you mentioned that you wanted to go moving things forward. So Ethan, what is moving forward? Um, a couple things we have, uh, a couple of our goals is to work with the school and create a proposal to get a school psychologist just to help students out. And they'll be available for students to talk to whenever. And another one of our goals is to look into the teacher and security training and what they will do to protect students during an event, any emergency that happens. So Emily, I heard something about Town Hall. Can you like expand on that? Yeah, so we as a group are creating a Town Hall-like space about once a month after school. And this is to allow the students to present their concerns to us as a group so we can turn their concerns into action with admin. If you have any issues or concerns, please visit Ms. B's room at CC 104. Kairos returns today, and there's a cabaret tomorrow. Now here's Pascal who found out some more info about our mental health club. One in every five teens ages 13 to 18 will develop a mental illness. Suicide is the third leading cause of death in our nation. I caught up with the president of the mental health club to learn a little bit more about resources for teens on our campus. So what is the mental health club? The Peace of Mind Mental Health Club is about raising awareness for mental health and providing a support system for those who suffer from mental health or know someone who does. And what do you do during mental health club meetings? Every meeting we choose a different topic to focus on, some being eating disorders, depression, stress and anxiety, and we have an open discussion about each topic to end the stigma around it. When and where are the mental health club meetings? The mental health club meetings are in Mr. Caro's room at lunch usually on the last week of the month. What was your inspiration for starting the club? Um, my friends, including myself, um, all suffer from mental illnesses, so I wanted to create a place where people could talk about it and make sure that they don't feel alone in their sufferings and everyone's feelings are valid and important. Thanks, Pascal. The Spring Blood Drive is on Thursday. And now, here's a special report on Women's History Month. Hey Dons, I'm here with Emily O'Hare to inform everyone about Women's History Month. So Emily, tell us a little bit more. So Women's History Month was founded in 1980 in California by the National Women's History Project. What is the Plus Club doing to celebrate Women's History Month? On International Women's Day, we wrote letters to all the female teachers on campus, and we hung up posters about empowering women and starting a conversation about equal rights on campus. And we also have matinee movies that we're doing. So on Wednesday the 21st, we'll be watching a movie that's female-led and about Women's History Month. How can people celebrate Women's History Month? Well, you can visit the Women's History Museum of California in Liberty Station. You can support the women that you look up to in your life, as well as mentor younger women. And you can support female-owned small businesses, as well as encouraging positive self-talk among the women that you know. Thanks, guys. The Senior Boat Dance is on Friday. Here's Mr. Filipponi with more information. Hi, seniors. The Boat Dance is coming up Friday, March 23rd from 6 to 9 p.m. You have to be there at 5.30 to board the boat. Uh, you could sign up online, it's $25. You get pizza, sodas, Cinestics, a DJ, dancing, and a big boat. Uh, dress code is, it's casual, so jeans, t-shirts. Thanks, Mr. Filipponi. The St. Joseph Liturgy is on Monday. Here's a message from Campus Men about what we are doing to celebrate. Next week, the week of March 19th, is St. Joseph week at Cathedral. And St. Joseph was Jesus' father and Mary's spouse, and he is a role model for fathers everywhere. So to celebrate, on Monday we're going to have Mass, and on Thursday we're going to have Spirit Dress where everyone wears white t-shirts and jeans. And then on Friday we're going to have a special lunchtime activity. Good morning, Dons, and welcome back to CCTV Sports. Your Don sports teams have had a superb week, so let's take a look at their scores. 
The baseball team beat Valhalla 2-0 in the Hilltop Lolitas Tournament, and the girls lacrosse team beat Patrick Henry 17-6. Also, the boys tennis team beat Madison 18-0. Now over to Alexis, who found out more about the swim team. Hey Dons, it's Alexis. I spoke with Mia, Audrey, and Katie about how the girls' varsity swim team's season has been going. Hi, I'm Katie. I swim 100 back and 200 free. I'm Audrey and I swim 200 IM and 100 back. I'm Mia and I swim 200 IM and 500 free. How have your meets been going so far? Uh, so far, so good. So we won our first tri-meet last week against Scripps Ranch and UC High School. And what does a normal practice look like? Well, a normal practice, we'll start with warm-up, and that's about 1,000 yards, and then we'll do a main set, which is like between two and 3,000, and then we'll normally do another like 1,000-yard kick set at the end. And what goals do you have for the rest of the season? So our goal is to go undefeated in our league and also win City Conference and try to defend our title at CIS. Thanks, Alexis. The girls' softball team won the platinum bracket of the Cougar Classic Tournament. First, they beat Olympian 1-0. Then they beat Vista 1-0. Now that they, they were on a roll, they beat Torrey Pines 8-1. In that game, junior Kayleen Walter made an awesome diving catch, which was a candidate for the KUSI Sports Play of the Week. Finally, in the finale, the team beat Steel Canyon 11-0. In that championship game, senior Megan Farimo had hit a grand slam in the fourth inning to lead the team to victory. Great job, ladies. Keep it up. Now have a fantastic Friday, an exquisite weekend, and roll dons. Back to you, Kiki. Thanks, Marcella. Have a great weekend and a fantastic St. Patrick's Day, Dons. CCTV, signing off. And now, freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, check your email to vote for your class officers.